Hey Impact fans, just uploading this really quick. Someone brought this to my attention, so now I'm bringing it to your attention if you haven't checked it out. So if you check, it's funny, I was just on the uh, Impact website yesterday looking at the roster, and um, it's been updated since I looked at it yesterday. So a couple things just to bring to your attention, and this is I'm not reporting anything, I don't know shit, to be honest with you. If you hear squeaking in the background, that's my brother's dog playing with a toy. But I don't. this is all unconfirmed. But on the website, moved uh, to the alumni section, is uh, DJZ, Mario Bocara, Diamante, and Ava Story. Another notable is that in the knockouts section, there was no new graphic, because there never was one, of uh, Casey Spinelli. But with that being said, there's no Sue Young in there too. So maybe that's coming. I don't want to look too much into that. And again, this is completely unconfirmed. This is just looking at the website. I try not to look too much into it because, you know, famously a few months ago, uh, Alicia, Edwards, Alicia Edwards was moved there and uh, she's still with the company. So there was a, a mistake, obviously. So let's talk about these real quick. DJZ, I never really, we all love DJZ. I never really expected him to come back to the roster. And um, if you remember when he got injured, it was very, like, they barely mentioned it, you know, as opposed to when Adam Thornstow got hurt, who was at the time, you know, someone they were going to run with, with Reno Scum, you know, they did the video packages and they made a big deal over it. But with DJZ, they didn't. So that kind of told me something first. Um, another thing I, I had said about a month ago, and... Some people try to disprove me that I was incorrect in this thinking was that every time we see an, a, you know, um, some of the impact stars do a lot of work in nowhere or crash or triple a and not be on TV at all. It's almost like they're finding work for them to do to finish out their contract. And then, uh, they never come back. So interesting there. And it just never, I don't know with the current X division, like it would be cool to see DJ Z in there. But I didn't think like DJZ fit at the same time, if you know if that makes any sense at all. But it sucks because I mean, he's someone I think we all like, and it would have been nice to see him get in the mix with these new X Division stars right now. Now that, that now that they're putting so much focus on it, um, and and I know he keeps getting hurt. I went to see him at an indie show. I don't know four months. Oh, no, it was in the summer, and he was a last minute scratch. And I thought he was healthy because this this was after his impact injury, and because I'm friends with Michael Elgin on Facebook and he runs the you know the promotion out here, I sent him a message as like his you know because I didn't really want to buy the tickets if certain guys weren't performing, and I said you know is DJZ healthy and he's like oh yeah he's good to go, <laughs> and then I get there and DJZ cuts a promo and pulls out so I think a lot of us saw it coming with DJZ, Mario Bokara I mean. You know, when he was on TV, it was always in a jobber role. You know, he was Fala Ba's tag team partner. They could have done something with that, didn't. But here's the thing with Mario Boca, where he's hurt right now. He's injured. So he just had surgery not too long ago. He's, he's another one with uh, my Facebook friends. So I'm, I kind of follow that closely, what's going on with him. So I wouldn't look too much into that. Um, not that he's, you know, a game changer either way. But I do want to say when they did the gauntlet for gold and everyone was taken pretty seriously in that match, he actually looked really, really good. Some really nice belly-to-back suplexes that displayed a lot of power and everything. So he was someone I, you know, I felt like he was talented enough. But it's just like that team came in and they just, you know, they had no momentum whatsoever. So that's why Fala Ba's doing his own thing. Um, because, you know, Mario Bokara is injured. And when they did the Impact Live events last year, they both wrestled as baby faces. So... Obviously, that seemed to work with Falaba, and that's why he's a babyface on TV now. So I don't know if there were similar plans for Mario Bokara or not. Regarding the two knockouts, Ava Story oh, and Diamante. This kind of hurts in both cases for me. Um, Ava Story was one, you know, I was uh, I was in the house of the Impact Zone when she debuted, but it was the match where she was supposed to wrestle Brandy, and then Cody came and... Uh, stopped the match and then Rosemary attacked her and I was kind of like gosh she's probably just a jobber but I was a little bit drawn to her seeing her debut and I'm you know beautiful girl wow um not you're very very green in the ring very green 
And uh, Madison Rain spoke really highly about her. Like she was someone that she felt had a lot of talent. And when I did my interview with Allie, Allie had said, you know, she works extremely hard. There was one one night only where Allie and Ava Story kind of, they didn't team up, but Allie came and saved her um, after a match with Laurel Van Ness. And they had great chemistry. I know everyone's really into the Allie and Rosemary thing, but Ava and Allie had really good chemistry. And Allie being around Ava brought a lot more confidence out of Ava. And they would have worked pretty good as a pair as well. But she did, I mean, they, they used her quite a bit. It was always jobbing. Um, I think she only ever won one match and was on Explosion. And her, her finisher was some kind of cross-face... Uh, something or other uh, submission move I, I don't quite it was against amber nova um i wish I, I i wish i could remember exactly what she did um kind of a, a grapevine lock with the arms I, I i'm not gonna speculate any further but you know she never really won any matches but they featured her enough where i felt like okay they could do something with her so that kind of sucks i did like her diamante if you guys listen to the the conference call the teleconference I did a couple weeks ago with Conan and Sammy Callahan, that was the only question I asked on there. What's the status of Diamante? He said, I think, no, actually, I know she will be at the next set of tapings. She's been injured, and they didn't want to uh, risk it further, even bringing, out, you know, bringing her out there in a non-wrestling role. They didn't want to risk injury any further. So this is one, if it's it's true, it is a... Uh, you know, potentially really sucks. I won't say it's damaging, but the female aspect to LAX was really cool. And this was a girl who who was just like on the cusp of showing us something really brilliant in the ring. You know, uh, almost maybe our version of Lita or whatever. But I really feel like she was on the cusp of doing something special. And, you know, she, she was showing us these flashes. And, you know, she got hurt twice, I believe. So, we don't really know what's going on. It, Again, this is really unofficial because nothing has been officially stated. I'm going to look into them a little deeper, but I usually am hesitant to um, talk to certain people about other wrestlers' contract statuses. But I will say I, I knew a rumor about Ava's story a couple months ago, and I had been looking into it. And uh, the contact I was speaking with was not responding to me regarding her. Um, anything else was good and <laughs> when I was trying to find out what's up with Ava's story I wasn't getting an answer so you know maybe that maybe that said something uh, but she's still Ava's story on Twitter and everything she hasn't been promoting Impact um, and even for that extent Diamante hasn't a whole lot herself you know she'll, she'll tweet some, retweet some LAX stuff here and there but so yeah and, and, and uh, again regarding the knockouts you know Casey Spinelli is not on the roster she was not on the tapings so we don't know if they only used her for Canada, but they they used her a lot in Canada. So I don't know. I, I do have one person I'm going to contact regarding that, see if I can get some answers. And uh, who's the other? Oh, well, Sue Young, but you know she hasn't made her official debut. But at the same time, there's other wrestlers like the, um, the Hit Squad who haven't made their official debut, but they're on the website. So I don't know yet. We'll see, guys. But um, I guess with the Hit Squad, they did announce them you know, on impact and on social media, they didn't do that with Sue Young. So, you know, maybe they're waiting on that one, but I will, I will look into it best I can. But again, I try not to get too much into contract situations with people and, uh, that's it. Been babbling here for a little too long. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Hit that subscribe button. Peace.